Oh, this is the ICA, okay. Good Lord. The Institute of Contemptuous Farts. <laughs> Making Boston mediocre forever. Actually, only since the 70s. One of the great mediocritizers. The gang of four or whatever that all but assures that Boston will be a slappy happy backwater insofar as anything compelling is concerned. We like cute around here. So that's good to know. A lot of glass I see. Pretty expensive thing. More ferries. It's like the Provincetown ferry. Ah, yes, this. Genius, clever ICA people. We got some mediocre poetry that you can't really read anyway because they decided it would be best to have it be on a piece of plexiglass and white. Lettering, so that you have to look through the. Uh, I have to figure out what it is. Yes, and the poetry's crap. Let's see, dazzling the whiteness of the harbor, the masts appearing first in the sun, spray-like needles of ghostly metronomes, bodiless larghettos in their own time emerging, a nocturne of hidden snows, that landscape the sea. And if you sit long enough on a rock, late into the afternoon growing, cold under the awning of a dream, starting, hearing them, your mind may begin to glide. And you find you are standing, beginning the walk, home, moving among open sounds. <laughs> so they paid some Claude to write that crap, Jesus. <laughs> it is an awesome way for Boston to hoist its mediocrity <laughs> loudly on a... I mean, the essential beauty of the place, as you can see all around you, more than Trump's the pitiful efforts of creatives to say something about it. Wow, how do you dispose of this thing? properly provided a generous dollop of derision for the pretentiousness of it all. We can now move along to whatever this structure is. <laughs> We're, oh look, Wolfgang Puck. My God, heart be still. Yikes. Catering. <laughs> I can imagine the excitement. Oh, Boston finally has a Wolfgang Puck. Ugh. Yes, welcome to my city. It's a good place. It can't help these anxiety fits. But at the end of the day, it's all noise. You have to look beyond to see the real substance of the thing. This must be the World Trade Center structure. <laughs> Judging by the many flags, really, don't mind me, I'm dumb as a sack of rocks. Was this the once fabulous Anthony's Pier 4, now laid low by changes? restaurant habits and 
new ways for people to be high rollers. Betcha it is. They don't want you on these old crumbling pier sections. <coughs> Anthony's Pier 4 used to be the end all, the ultimate fruitsy place. I'm not sure if this is it. Whatever it is, it's kind of run down now. We've got dickhead libertarians making a statement in the middle of nowhere. A restaurant that seems to have died. I'm guessing it's a restaurant. I'm guessing it's Pier 4. It's all <laughs> speculation, mind you. <laughs> yeah, libertarians, no wonder no one. They can't even elect a dog catcher, especially when they put their signs in stupid places. Yeah, whatever this was, traces of it have been effaced. Here's an old loading dock. kind of a forlorn part of the innovation district. A little more than a fat parking lot. Yeah, this must have been Pier 4. <laughs> My father called it a clip joint. Because you get clipped when you go there. There's the big rigs. And as usual, it looks like my battery time calculations are pretty good. Looks like the harbor walk runs along this thing and <coughs> gets skirted around this construction site. Pier 4. Damn. Mr. Athanas is probably resting in peace at this point. Further testimony to the proposition that nothing really lasts. Yes, this is our <laughs> ostentatious World Trade Center in which Boston engages the world, however haphazardly. <laughs> okay, looks like we got a reroute. I'm gonna figure that out. My surmise proved correct. That is Pier 4. And yes, it is principally now a parking lot. And we're mostly through another section of Harbor Walk. Now we're in the big grandiose mess that is the, will be remembered as the Mumbles' legacy. 
Good Lord.